What's up, everybody? This is Carl from Textful Goodies, and this is the Domi Fan dual screen laptop screen extender, okay? So we've looked at multiple products from Domi Fan, and I'm a huge fan of Domi Fan. Uh, we've looked at a standard portable monitor, and we've also looked at a triple screen setup that you can use with your laptop that allows you to have monitors on both sides of your laptop screen. I'll put a link up above for that review. But today we're actually looking at a single monitor that you can hook to your laptop that allows you to have two screens. So you can either extend your screen or you can clone it <clears throat> or you can have two different screens. We'll try it out with a laptop. I'll also try it out with my Nintendo Switch, show you that you can basically just go ahead and play games on it if you want as a standalone external monitor, or you can hook it to the back of your screen to have dual monitors on a laptop. So looking at some of the features here, it is a 14 inch monitor. It's 1920 by 1080, 60 Hertz. Um, and it has a thousand to one contrast ratio. So let's go ahead and open this up. So in order to open this up, there's basically just a flap here in the front. And one thing I always like is their packaging, very secure packaging. It's got some foam here to protect the whole device itself. And it comes with its own little carrying bag. Someone had asked me previously on the triple screen extender in a comment whether or not everything folds up together with the laptop itself. And that's not the case. You do have to take it off of the laptop every time you want to go somewhere. Um, so they provide this little extra carrying case here. And here is the laptop monitor itself. Also in the box, one thing I do like is that they always give you plenty of cables, okay? So there's three cables in here. And in addition to that, you do have your standard manual and your quick setup, which we will take a look at here in a moment. Okay, so I've got my laptop here. That'll allow us to try this out. And one of the things I wanna point out, and I always point this out with each one of these, is that when it comes to USB-C, you need to make sure that you have the proper port on your laptop to be able to use USB-C with this monitor, but they also give you an HDMI cable, okay? So they give you one USB-C to USB-C cable, you can see here, and they give you an HDMI cable. So this is a backup cable if you don't have a USB-C. So it has HDMI to USB-C, this plugs into the monitor, this plugs into your computer, the HDMI out, but in order to do that, you have to provide power to the external monitor because HDMI does not carry power. So they give you this USB-C to USB-A plug, allows you to plug this side into your computer, this side into the monitor to provide power. So if you're gonna go the HDMI route, you have to use both of these cables. In this particular case, I do have a laptop that does have the proper USB-C port that does provide external power as well as an external monitor connection. And the one good thing is that if you want to look here, when you go to purchase this, I'll leave the link down below. If you want to research it, it does tell you on the listing what kind of port you need to look for. But you can also see here that it should have a SS or a super speed USB-C port that does provide power. With that all out of the way, let's go ahead and set this up and give it a try. So basically, you're opening up your laptop here. And again, with the top down view, I don't have a ton of space, but we should be able to be okay. And then in general, the laptop monitor here is very similar to the triple laptop setup, but it only has one monitor on it. And you can see here, I'll show you in the top down view, that it has an extendable center part, okay? So that center part will pull apart and allow you to hook it onto your laptop screen if you want, okay? The cool thing about this though, is that there are different ways that you can use this and we'll explore this after we get this all hooked up. So what they want you to do, and I'll go ahead and take off this peeler right here. And what they do want you to do is go ahead and open this little flap because this is gonna give you top support on your laptop. And then simply, I will slide it over here. All you have to do is spread apart the two sides and hook it onto your monitor, okay? Now, this is a pretty heavy monitor and on this laptop, you can see it wants to kind of fall backwards, but they have a solution for that. So let me take this back off again and we'll look here in the back. 
So on the back here, they have a kickstand. So the way this works, you can see here, is that this kickstand pops out of the back, okay? And then what you do is you turn this plastic fork right here and it engages this little tab on the side here. And then you can basically pull it down, lock it into place where you want to use it, and then it'll give support to your laptop. So let's go ahead and hook this back up. Simply stretch it over the screen, seat it down. And from the back side here, you can see that I do have the kickstand engaged. So now it's much more sturdy. Make sure every one of these sides is kind of engaged with your monitor to make sure it stays on there. And there we go. I'll slide it over a little bit so we can see the entire setup. And I'm actually gonna adjust this kickstand down one more notch so that I can lean it up a little further so you can see it in the top camera. All right, so in order to hook this up, they do give you a cable here, the USB-C cable, like I said, and it says here on this, please connect this port to our product. Okay, they give you a nice little angle connector right here because the port is on the back of the screen. So I will close this up, get it plugged in on the back here, which is nice because it fits nice and flat here, as you can see. Open it back up, and then we simply plug it into our laptop. And it boots up. So basically Windows is gonna now recognize this as another monitor. And initially this is set to uh, clone. So you can see it's showing the same thing on both screens. All right. So what you can do is when you go to your desktop, you can right, right mouse click and say display settings. And you can see here it's cloned. It shows monitor one and monitor two. Hopefully you can see that from the top down view. But what you wanna do is you wanna go down in here and you're gonna change it. Instead of duplicate these displays, you're gonna to wanna to say, extend these displays. And what that does is it gives you another complete monitor on this side that will allow you to have whatever you want on this side and whatever you want on this side. So if I open up that browser window again, you can see that it's on this side. And if I wanted to watch a YouTube video, I can just kind of slide this over, over here and I'm good to go. So now you have your laptop and an external monitor to give you that little bit of extra productivity if you're out and about. Now, you can have this at home, you can have it out and about, and that's why they give you the extra carrying case. You don't have to use that, of course. You can, you can just keep it in your standard laptop bag. And the other thing I wanted to mention is if you look here on the top, there is a little rocker knob, which I think is cool. You click it to access the menu, which you can see right here, and forward and back, change all the different settings, change all the brightness contracts, backlight sharpness, eco, all sorts of stuff. So now we have this extra monitor set up and good to go, and it's simply just that easy, okay? Now, one of the things that really drew me to wanting to review this and take a look at it what that is that there is additional ways you can use this. If you don't wanna connect it to your laptop screen, you can simply take it off. And if you go like this and simply set it next to you, you can have a vertical monitor. So this is again, a little bit hard to see. I'll go ahead and uh, angle this down a little bit. And in this case, if you wanted to have this to your right, you know, over here and have your laptop here while you're using it, you can also go into personalize, I'm sorry, display settings. And you can click on laptop number two, see how that turned blue. And then you can change it to portrait mode flipped. So what that does, is you can see on the side here, now everything is in a vertical mode and it acts as my side monitor here. So if you wanted to have something like Discord or your chat open on this one and have this screen here for whatever you're working on, or if you wanted to have maybe a spreadsheet or YouTube videos on this side, you can do that. And I guess you can use this side as a mouse pad if you wanted to, but this little edge here would probably get in the way. And the only thing I would say about this method right here where you have sort of a vertical screen is that I only wish that this side bent backwards the other way so that I could get this out of the way and just have my screen showing. But, you know, that's just a note to the Domi fan folks if they're gonna create another version of this. But again, you know, being able to sort of set this off to the side and have your main monitor here, I think is, is super awesome and super helpful, especially in this sort of vertical portrait orientation because uh, like I said, you could put a Word document if you're reading something over there or you're transposing something from here to over here, it would be great. Now, let me grab my switch. All right, so now I have my switch with the docking station and with the docking station, you can only have HDMI out, which means you have to use the other cables, the USB for power and the HDMI for video signal, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and hook this back up to 
the laptop, but the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and hook in the cables, okay? So the first one is the HDMI cable. And I know it's difficult to see here, and I wish it was a little easier to see. I'll try to show you in the top. But this one here says HDMI. And this one here, I think, is for the power. So I'll go ahead and hook the HDMI up already. And then I will also go ahead and hook up the external power. Okay. Now that those are both hooked up, I can toss this back on my laptop. And on the back of the switch, there is an HDMI out and a USB port back in the back here. We'll see if we can grab power from that and see how that works. Yep, looks like it's turning on. Go ahead and toss my switch into the, the dock there. And there we go. So if you can see now, I can come in, play Zelda Tears of the Kingdom on this external monitor while I've got my main monitor here. So I'll let that boot up real quick. And now I'm running around in the game on my external monitor here. I really won't do much here. I hopefully you can see that from the top down view. Too bad it's at night. <laughs> But yeah. So if I want to take a break from work, play little games here. And then if I wanted to, with the game still hooked up, I can come into the menu here and we will change the signal source to type 1C. And then I'm back into Windows so I can do my work, blah, 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 blah. Come up here to the menu, drop down one. Change the signal source type to HDMI, and I'm back in the game. So um, this is just one of those things. I mean, it's, it's, it is no different than a standard clunky set-aside monitor that you have just stationary. This allows you to basically package it up, take it with you, a really strong productivity setup uh, wherever you want to go. And it's good for travel, good for all that kind of stuff. And the one thing that I do like is that you can use both USB-C and HDMI, and that way you can kind of have the freedom to switch in between them if you want. So yeah, so that's awesome. Again, it is the S1 dual screen laptop extender from Domi Fan. I will put the link down below. But again, I think this is a winner for absolute sure. If this helped you at all, go ahead and give me a like and subscribe. I'd love to see you back. We do all sorts of stuff on this channel. Like I said, this is my tech desk. And I just invite you in for an informal discussion about different gadgets, different goodies, all sorts of stuff that we can just kind of try and test out in real time and see how it works. If it works, awesome. If not, we'll let you know. Other than that, this is Carl from Tech for Goodies, and I'm out.